Uh, once a year, there's a terrific uh, program that takes place. It's called the Made Bike Show, and it takes place in Portland. With us right now is uh, Billy Sinkford. Uh, he's the director and co-founder of this. Uh, thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time today, Billy. It's absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for, for having us and taking the time to chat. Well, so tell us a little bit about this particular event in years past and what's happening uh, this year. So Made uh, Bike Show is happening down at Zydell Yards here in Portland, Oregon. This is our second year here. Uh, we have been actively involved in the handmade cycling community for decades and have become the stewards of the show. And we have the great honor of uh, putting this on here in Portland. It's the best cycling city in the world, as far as I'm concerned. And we have over 200 frame builders and brands that support them down here at Zydell Yards uh, for a whole weekend of awesome activities. So tell us a little bit about uh, the uh, the idea. What what is it? What exactly is a handmade bike? You say you've got frame builders down there. So what does that mean exactly? Uh, it's a great question. So if you walk into a bike shop like Cycle Path or River City here in Portland, Oregon, what you're going to find, Cycle Path has a lot of handmade builders. River City sells majority. Uh, the bikes are from Specialized Trek. These are large bike manufacturers. They're producing thousands if not hundreds of thousands of bicycles every single year and they're producing them in stock sizes so you would get what the bike equivalent to a small medium or large would be you're not going to find a single stock bicycle down here each one of these bikes is made exactly to measure so i'm a fairly tall individual i'm almost six foot two and i have fairly odd proportions all of my bicycles are completely custom made down to the millimeter for me. So there's the form and the finish. Uh, and the, the form is getting it so that it fits you right. It's going to do exactly what you want it to do and perform exactly for that individual. And then the finish is where things truly come alive. These bikes, the paint jobs on them are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Sparkles, pinstripes, custom anodizing. Uh, the customer that's getting this bike, it's made just for them, and it's finished exactly to their wanting. So a lot of people have special messages inscribed on there. Be a big fan of Star Wars, and you can get a Star Wars bike. So it, it runs the whole gamut. So it's the sizing as well as the finish, and then it is the components that go on it, which are oftentimes all made individually for the bicycle, or they're made by smaller American or or bespoke companies that are doing really cool stuff that thinks a little bit outside of the box that you can't do to have a bike that you would just, you know, be purchasing from uh, a big store or a big manufacturer. And uh, you said a couple of minutes ago that there's a, a couple hundred frame makers down there. So how, how many, uh, well, I, so if I was a customer, I come down there and I can just tell people what I want and it goes from there. Well, the goal here, so there are bikes that are uh, show bikes that are down here that are either already made for a customer and are being shown here before they're given to the customer, or they've been made specifically for this show by the frame builder to highlight what they do. So if you were to come down and if you were interested in getting a handmade bike, you might go on the made.bike website and look at the list of builders, pick out a few people that speak to you, that you like their style, you like their vibe, and then you get a chance to come down and meet these builders that are here from, these are not from Portland. We have plenty of Portland builders here, but we have folks from Australia. We have folks from Japan. We have folks from Europe. You, all four corners of the earth have all converged here under the roof. So a cycling enthusiast could come down here and meet the builders and find out if they align with that builder and then start a conversation about having a bike made. And we're generally looking some of the more popular and, and world-renowned builders will have wait lists that could be a couple years long. Uh, and then sometimes you've got a builder that's able to do something in a couple weeks uh, or even a couple days, depending upon how much money you're willing to give them and, and how, how much they like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I understand uh, this event goes uh, through Saturday and Sunday. Is that correct? Oh, yes. We'll be down here uh, for about another hour today, and then we'll have a little happy hour. And then all day tomorrow from 10 to 4, we are here. Uh, all the builders and the brands will be here. We'll be here. Uh, and we've got tons and tons of fun stuff uh, for everyone to do. Uh, we got kids' bikes out here. Uh, there's, it's fun for the whole family. Uh, and so uh, because just because we're recording this, so you're there until about 5 o'clock on Saturday and 10 to 4 on Sunday. 
Yes, we're here for another hour is when we'll close ticketing today. And then we're here from 10 to 4 on Sunday. And you're at the Zydell Yards uh, on the south waterfront, right? That is absolutely correct. All right. Well, uh, Billy Sinkford, thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time. I appreciate it so much. Uh, and it sounds like a fantastic event. Uh, I'd love to see your bike sometime and uh, happy cycling to you. All right. Thank you very much for taking the time. We really appreciate it.